We're going to kick off with Friday's papers with the front cover of The Mirror. Kerry, you've got this one. The final betrayal, as we hear. It sounds like a song, doesn't it? <laughs> um, this is the... Uh, the Tories being accused of um, just dropping the HS2 leg to Manchester, which uh, they haven't actually said what they're, that they're doing that. They, well, they, they just haven't said very much, really. Where is it going um, now? Because it was meant to go to Leeds, and then they said no. And then, Leeds, so it's not Leeds, Leeds has been ditched. That's been ditched. So and where is cost, it going the now? The costs apparently uh, are spiralling upwards, which they could save a lot of money by just not having it spiralling. Just, just go direct routes. Exactly. But it's doing the it. corkscrew effect that's ruining that's it. That's it. Uh, but it's cost £2.3 billion already. Wow. And, and uh, it's going to cost another £34 billion to finish it, which is uh, way beyond what they were originally expecting. And, uh, but of course, then there's a question of how much money it costs to save it. Yeah. Um, but what they're saying is, uh, the, the spokesman is saying we're committed to HS2. They're just not committed to where it's going to go. So it's probably going <laughs> yeah. to end on a bridge somewhere <laughs> or in the middle of nowhere and then some, uh, some, some replacement bus is going to come in. Well, is this the sunken cost fallacy, Nick, insofar as they've put so much money into this now that to turn back would be worse in a way? You may as well go the whole hog. <laughs> yeah, but as you say, it's a fallacy, so they shouldn't, by that, by the sunk cost fallacy, they should just stop it they now. They should just stop right yeah, now. Yeah, and yeah stop exactly. everything they're doing. What's so ridiculous is now it's not going to go to the north. All it's doing is making the route from London to Birmingham, which is already a great route, even faster. That's all it's going to do. Why not just make Birmingham better yes. so that people don't all just have to come to London from Birmingham? That's my theory. Do you mean get rid of Manchester? No, I'm saying... That's just, not a bad idea, actually. If we get rid of Manchester, yeah. we just have the country well, in no, the Birmingham. Half, I mean, it's, half my family's from there. The only thing... The, the, the thing is, the North is what really needed it. If you ever did gigs, you know, those awful gigs where you have to travel around the country doing yeah. all these rubbish and all the gigs that, that Kerry still does. If, right. you do, if, you, if you have to do that, you realise there's no trains up north. That's where they need them. Whereas the Birmingham to London part, it's like, let's make it 12 seconds faster. It's I mean, it's, it's already quick mm. to Birmingham. Exactly. I mean, you can already, already get there. And it's it's going to shave, what, five minutes off the trip to it's Birmingham? It's quick and it's cheap. But getting to Manchester is now expensive and difficult. Right. Uh, and there's always problems on the trains and so on. So I think the main complaint here, though, is that uh, the north will be charged for it, which is what Andy Burnham, uh, of course, the great Manchester yes. mayor, is complaining about. Is that, But I suppose if they get it working, then it's the north that's going to benefit okay. from well, it. It looks so. like a big white elephant to me anyway.